Hello YouTube, my name is Blade, and in this video I want to show you how to get the equivalent of paint from a PC onto your Mac. And the equivalent app of paint is Paintbrush. You can see the icon right here. In the description I'll give you a safe link to a website that you can download the app from. Whenever you open up the app, you see this little screen. This is what you're going to be painting on. And this little box right here opens up. This is basically how big the dimensions of the painting you want to do. I'll just use 800 by 800, that's the default. And as you can see, it opens up, and I can scroll. So this is kind of big, but it'll work for now. And basically, whenever you first open up, there will be no toolboxes or anything for you to use. And to get those out, which you're going to want those out, you click on Window and go to Toolbox. And the little toolbox that you've probably seen on the Paint version from the PC is right there. And as you can see, you can move it wherever you want. And a lot of these icons probably look very similar to you. You got the paintbrush. You can decrease how big you want lines to be with stroke down here. That This size is the 10, and that's 4. And as you can see, they just go from different sizes. And with paintbrush, you just got the little free paintbrush. Very similar to the paint version on PCs. The erase icon, as you can see, it's still set to 1. I can set it all the way to 10 and I got a bigger eraser. You also got the little cropping box. Move things wherever you want with that. You have the paint can. I know as a little kid I always loved using the paint can for whatever reason. The fill in. You can also, if you didn't know this, this works on paint too. These are your two color icons. People usually have black and white as a default left click is black right click is white some people that I know that have PCs don't know about that also if you have a painting you don't like and you want to take away the whole thing you just use this little de demolition looking button right here you have lines and if you want to make a straight line this also works on paint you hold down shift and it makes completely right angle to 45 degree angle lines you have the curvy line you draw a line and then you can curve it. You got your boxes. This also sets to where whether or not there's an outline or an actual box. And then you also got your ovals. And then these thingies. And you also have text right here. Whenever you click the text button, this little this is where you type your text. I'll go ahead and put my YouTube name right here. And if you already type text and you want to uh, customize it with fonts and stuff, remember to highlight the text first. My favorite little font so far has been Brahos 93. Brahos 93. That's it right there. You got the font size over here. I'm going to put it at 96. And I'm going to go ahead and change the color. This is what happens whenever you click on the colors. Let's go ahead and make that blue and click place. You got Blade 5205 and as you can see it, a lot of the little icons are very similar to the paint version from PCs and if you really wanted to just have paint for your Mac this is the app for it. Remember it's paintbrush and as I said in the description I will put a link on a safe website. Don't worry about anything happening to your Mac. The website is safe but it's a safe website to download the app at. And if this video helped you, well then, I'm very happy. Thanks for watching my video, and bye.